So just like that, two out and nobody on. It's left to Jay Bruce. And Bruce drives one to center field. Back goes Fam to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here. Jay Bruce with a go ahead home run in the 10th inning. A breakout night for Jay Bruce, his second home run of the year, and the Mets lead it 6 to 5. Well, he picked up his first triple as a man earlier tonight, and maybe that's what got him going. His third hit of the game, a go-ahead home run in the 10th inning. And Bruce gets one in the air to deep left center. Back goes Robles onto the track at the wall. It's out of here! Conforto and Bruce go back-to-back. -back. Scooter and the big man bust the city in half. <laughs> And it's 3 0 New York. Goodness. 3 and 2. And Jay cracks one out to right center field. Back in the gap goes Taylor at the wall. It's out of here. Jay Bruce with a grand slam for his first home run of the season. And the Mets now lead it 8 to 2. He had to make it happen on 2 2. Once you get the 3 2, you got to give in a little bit to Jay, and that ball was leaked back over the middle of the plate. I felt he should have doubled up, come back inside, and he was just one going out to his comfort zone away and got it up and down Broadway. Sixth career grand slam for Bruce, and he got all of that. Third, Nimmo at second, Cabrera at first, and Bruce flies one toward the gap in left center field, headed back toward the wall, and it's one hop over the wall, a ground rule double. That'll bring in a pair, a double for Jay Bruce, gives the Mets a two to one lead. A refreshing change for Jay Bruce. He drives one to the opposite field gap and puts the Mets in front. Jay, it's a rocket to deep right field. Betts goes back for a look, but that ball is out of here. Jay Bruce with a three-run homer, and the Mets have a four-nothing lead. Number eight for Bruce is fifth since his return from the disabled list. As the signs continue to point in the right direction for Jay, he's driven in all four runs tonight. Fastball right down the pipe and down in the strike zone. That's Jay's wheelhouse. Very bad effort right there. You know, I said in the open is that even though it's mid September with a team with 101 wins, they're having a little trial camp to see who's going to be in the bullpen in October. Have the lead on an Odubel Herrera home run off Max Scherzer, 1 0 in the fourth. Hit over the bag and a great stop by Bruce and he hits to Grom on the move. Second fantastic defensive play made by the Mets behind the Grom. First Nimmo and now Bruce laying out to take an extra base hit away from Caratini. I mean a gold glove kind of play. It's not only that he got to it that he dove for it. He covered so much ground to get there. Great quickness showed by Jay Bruce. What's that four steps in a dive. I'm not sure he could have done that two months ago because of the bad feet. But he's healthy now, his feet and his hip. And Bruce lifts one to left. Pretty well hit. Ortega, though, should have room, I think, near the wall. And he made the catch. Oh. Or did it hit off the fence first? I think they're saying it's a grand slam. The third base umpire, Dan Bellino, said that he played the carom off the back fence. And it's a grand slam for Jay Bruce. Nice deke by Ortega, who had that ball land in his mitt somehow. But Bruce gets credit for his seventh home run. Let's watch. And a good call by Bellino. It went off the M&M sign over the orange line. It is indeed a grand slam. And the Mets now have an 11 to nothing lead. Ortega was shocked to find that ball in his glove. Tried to sell it as best he could. The umpires are going to have to go and uh, check it out. I think now are they just going to let the call stand. I think uh, I think they know that it's a grand slam and I think Don Mattingly knows it's a grand slam. And the one guy that doesn't know is the guy on the phone. He needs to go back.
inside. And you can see it, you can hear it. It went off the blue side. It is a grand slam.